All right, permutations versus combinations. If the order matters, I've been saying the order patters. Why the heck do I throw that P in there? Because P, permutation, order matters. Okay, so the order matters on a permutation. All right, next. The order does not matter on a combination. So, like, if you were ordering a pizza, do you, can you imagine how insane you would sound if you said, I want a pepperoni and sausage, and the pepperoni better be first. Otherwise, I'm sending it back. Exactly. It's like, what? what are you even talking about? The pepperoni has to go on first. Uh, they're going like, to all be together on the pizza. So anyway, ways to annoy your waitress next time you order pizza. Um, so order does not matter with pizza, so you wouldn't do that. All right. Uh, if the order matters, we have a little formula like this that helps us to do them. So let me show you what on earth that means by, by saying... Let's do a problem together. So on your paper, would you write this out? 8B6. Now, what does that mean? 8P6 means we have eight people in a race, and there's six places. Okay, the order matters, so I'm using a race. And I have always the bigger number over here and the smaller number over there. Now, I know some of you are thinking, can I just do it in the calculator? Well, you're going to have both and you're going to have to be able to do both. If you're doing this in the calculator, you just go 8P6 done, and it would tell you the answer. What you're going to have to do is calculate it this way. It's 8 factorial, and do you know what 8 factorial means? 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 6 times 4. Okay. Over, and then to do a P problem, you go this minus this. 8 minus 6 is 2 factorial. 8 factorial over 2 factorial, which would be, no calculator on this, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 2 times 1 down here. Notice that the 2 times 1 would cancel. Do you get that? Yes. Is there a minus? Is there a 2? Okay. All right. So... Uh, I have what's left up here is my answer. Now, that's kind of a pain to do in my head. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 times 6 is a big number. And times 5 is even bigger. So, yeah, that'd be a pain. All right, let's do some smaller numbers in your head. If you understood what I just did there, do 6P3. In your head. Look up. You can write it on the iPad if you want to, but don't. How many of you need to put 6 factorial on top? Good. Then 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial on the bottom. It's not because there's a 3 here. It's because this minus this makes that. And then that's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over 3 times 2 times 1. Those cancel. we got 6 times 5 times 4 on the top, and you're done. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 4 is 120. 1, 2, 0. You get that? All right, try five P. This would be like there's five people in a race. You're choosing two spots. Seems good. Have it on paper. It's a paper or iPad. All right, go ahead and tell me, Mr. A, A, what did you get? 12? 20, okay. How'd you get that? What's on top? Good. Perfect. Good. Over. Cancels, cancels. One. Good job. Raise your hand if you get that. Good. All right. Five times four is twenty. Gives you the final answer. Here. After everything else can. All right. Now let's try one that's a lot like it, but it's five C two. That means the order would not matter. That means that it's going to be smaller. Now it's not done the exact same way, but it starts the same way. Five factorial on top. Five minus two is three factorial on the bottom. 
but this answer needs to be smaller because if the order doesn't matter, you don't have to switch all the things around backwards, right? You divide it by whatever this number is factorial. In fact, right. You know what I there? Exact same thing as before, except I threw in an extra one of these on the bottom. So how do I do that? Well, it's going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1, and an extra 2 times 1. And these are being times. So then I can cancel off 3 times 2 times 1 here, and that. And this makes 20 divided by 2. And 2 over 10. All right, let's try another one like that. Let's say you had 6 C one. Yes, sir. You know the answer already? All right. How did you figure it out so fast? Perfect. And that is going to be super simple because almost everything cancels, right? And the answer is six. Very good. I can get it quick. That's good. Because six, five, four, dot, dot, dot. Over five times four, da da da, and then one factor is just one. And then this cancels, and this cancels. And that's just six. All right, here's a weirder one. Let's say I had uh, six choose six. That's like there's six books, and I've got six spots for books. If the order doesn't matter. How many different groups can you make? Just go back to the system. What goes on top? Six factorial. What goes on the bottom? Six minus six, which is what? Zero factorial. And I know you're thinking that that means that it's zero, but it's not zero. Zero factorial is one. Very good. Very good. Because otherwise, if you take 6 divided by 0, the answer is undefined, like there is no answer. So they took and made this work so that even in your calculator, if you type in 0 factorial, it will give you 1. All right, we'll show that. I'll show you that in a second. But then we need an extra one of these, which is an extra 6 factorial. And if I have 6 factorial over 6 factorial, it cancels. But that challenges you to know that when things cancel, they don't disappear. They turn into what? So this cancel turns into one, that cancel turns into one, it's one over one, which is one. And I think about it, if you have six books and six pots on the shelf, there's only one thing you can do, put them on the shelf. Because the order doesn't matter. If you, if you rearrange the order, that'd be a P problem. So the six P six would be completely different. That means there's six pots on the shelf, and you're going to put all six books out there, but you're going to rearrange them, and they're going to be different orders. So if I did 6p6, that would be 6 factorial over 6 minus 6 is 0 factorial, which I just told, told you is 1. And I don't use an extra one of these. You understand? So it's 6 factorial over 1, which is 6 factorial, which is a really big number. All right. Do you get the difference between 5c5 and 5p5? I got five people. Like I'm choosing, or a com I have five people to pick from, and I want five on the committee. There's only one way to do it. I got five people in a race, and I got five places, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. There's a lot of ways that could happen. And it ends up being five factorial over zero factorial, and an extra, nope. Going on the scene, which you get. So this one's just five factorial. Just five, it's four, it's 20. 3, which is 60, times 2, which is 120. All right. Now, if you've kind of processed how to do them by hand, then I want to give you one or two more to set them into your brain. Please do 4P3. That's the simpler kind. It only has one thing on the bottom. Got an answer in the 20s, you're probably doing it right. Raise your hand if you did. 
And I'm going to wait a minute just to get our top. We should have had four factorial over, what is it? Four minus two is one factorial, which is just one. So it's four factorial. Means four times three. Twelve times two. Twenty-four. Two C one. This one I want you to billboard. In our case, I just want to see it. So let's write your answer, zoom in on it, make sure your brightness is up so I can actually read. Some of you guys have it so dim, it's like darkness covered your eye. All right. I don't think so. All right, seen a lot of those. Good, 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 good. Yep, good, 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 good. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice job. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, did you change it? All right, good. It ends up being two. Because you have two factorial over two minus one is one factorial. And another one of these, one factorial. But that's still all just one on the bottom. And two times one on top divided by one is two. All right, I think you're good enough with that now. Now let's go back to this. There's a big, long, scary formula to, to do what I just showed you how to do, uh, but I'm not gonna annoy you with that. Example number one, you get to choose two toppings out of the four available for your Sunday. So there's four to choose from. Do you think the order matters on a Sunday? No, let's kind of throw them out. So we got four, C, the order doesn't matter. The C is like a big C, and the numbers are like subscripts. So that's why I always write my C higher than the numbers. All right, moving on. Four students trying for first and second place. Four, P, two, why did I just treat P? Because the order matters. Very good. Moving on. Three students are chosen out of five to compete in spelling B. Three out of five. No, it's not like that. I like that. It is C because it doesn't say that the order matters. They just, there you go. Why? Because this figure it ever always has to be first. You can't have three people and then pick five out of them. You have to have five people and pick three out. Next, you pick a president and vice president and secretary from a group of five individuals. How many different ways can this be done? So you got five to pick from, and you're picking a president, vice president, and secretary. That's three to choose. So you go like this. But yes, it does. I was just making sure to see if it's the best thing you already did. So I did it where the order wouldn't matter. But if you're talking pres, vice, and secretary, there definitely is an order there. And so this isn't a C question. It's a P question. All right. Now, could you use a calculator to do it? Yep. Could you use your brain to do it? I hope so. Five factorial on top. That's the easy part. What's on the bottom? Two factorial. Is there an extra thing on this kind or no? No, only on the C kind. In the C kind, there'd be an extra one of these. All right. It's homework time. Got a fair amount of time to work on your homework. I'm going to get these puppies graded for you uh, and get them back to you. Yes. <laughs> 